on our sins. Shepherds with wonder receive it. Say now I want you believe it. Wonderful story of love. 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 story of love, the love of our Lord Jesus Christ to mankind, the man who died for you and I, for everyone, not to die both spiritually and physically, the man who says it is finished, your trouble your lamentation is, is finished. I want to say to you this morning, as we used to say here, that good morning to you, and if you are in the afternoon, good afternoon, in the evening, good evening. I believe today will be a day of, um, of another grace for somebody that is watching this morning that Jesus will come and meet you at the point of your need. Basically, I'm saying to you that God has prepared you know, a new thing for you today. But I believe that you believe that whatever God says he's going to do, that is what he will basically do for whoever come you know, to lean on his shoulder. This is International Christian Association, as it is written, that we do tell people that it's not a church, but it's a ministry of fellowshipping, you know, uh, together for the same goal of knowing God the more. And this has been given to us to go and speak about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ and the kingdom of God to, to come. And in order to make us to understand what we need to do, because he said to us there are things we need to do if actually we want to you know, enter into that kingdom of God that God has prepared for us. And this is the reason why we do come. And once again, God will meet you at the point of your need today because the trip to the kingdom of God is like, you know, going on to a journey. You know, the preparation you made to get to where you are going, if I say it's not in your hand, you won't say what is he saying. If you are a driver until you, you land there safely, you still don't know how that journey went. But God wants us to do some things in order for us to have a good ending of our journey here or not. And if you want to know how far we have gone on this program, why don't you visit YouTube and search for Prophet Oloto? You see everything that God has been saying to us about what we need to do to get to this kingdom of God, which is the primary assignment 
towards man. When I say man, I mean man and woman, young and old. And, you know, before you start to listen, why don't you beckon to somebody around you, be that far or near, call them to let that person know that, yes, that program is on again this morning, so that that person can be part of this program as we are moving on. It shall be well with you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we have so many other programs that, um, you know, the Lord has given to us to, to observe for him. You know, we have a retreat coming in this month of May coming, the first weekend in May, by the grace of God, 5th to 7th of May. We just chill out, you know, to hide ourselves under the, 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 the wings of the Holy Spirit. By the time we come back, we know we will come back fresh in the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Uh, some other programs that, you know, God give us to do. We just gather together to fellowship together to teach ourselves the word, the undiluted word of God. I do tell people you cannot come to that fellowship and be misled. No, the, all you need to do even in your churches, the way you need to behave in your church, what you do determines either you're going to hear, you know, end up in the kingdom of God. You can never be misled by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. We do come there to share our giftings together. Hallelujah. You know, we are not taking you from your church. Just come for that hour to fellowship, to learn about God, and go back to your churches. But heavenly kingdom is our goal. It is well within the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, the man of God, we normally come together. It's not here. It's not here back from that beautiful country in Africa. Hallelujah. When he's here, you will see him again. It is well with us in Jesus' name. And my name is Prophet um, Larry Olotu. You know, the your humble servant. Uh, I believe the Lord is going to use me for you again today as you listen. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah, before we move on, why don't you bow down your head and commit your, you know, ears, your, your eyes, your mind into the hands of the Holy Ghost as you hear, as you see this morning, as you conceive this word this morning, that that word will be benefiting to your spirit, to your mind, to your soul, to your body, to your life. Why don't you say to God, Lord, come and help me to assimilate this morning to know you more this morning, that this man that is going to speak this morning, this young boy must not mislead me. I must not hear air from him this morning. You must see his tongue this morning to be a blessing unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. That day will bless you. In Jesus' mighty name you have prayed. Amen. Internal God, we thank you this morning. As your people had bowed down their ears and their eyes and their heart before you. Lord, I pray that you speak your word to your people this morning. Let you be broken in the name of Jesus. Let, let, let trouble be summoned by your power in the name of Jesus. Let's sit and bow for the name of Jesus concerning their situations. And let today be a day of blessing, a day of lifting up. And your name will be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Glory be to God in the yes, amen. Glory be to God in the yes, amen. For his mercies I adore forever. Amen. For his mercies endure forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercies endure forever. Amen. For his mercies endure forever. 
Amen. One more time. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercy is endure forever. Amen. For his mercy is endure forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Once again, good morning to you wherever you are. And because today is going to be another day that God will speak to your heart. Yes, thank you, Jesus. That God wants to meet with somebody that is looking this morning. That what you will hear this morning will be beneficial to your system, to your understanding about God. What is it that God is having for us this morning? It is very simple. You know, I do tell you the word of God is ever simple. If man will give their heart, their mind, their time to that word, to go by that word, to live by that word, it is a word of encouragement this morning, a word of affirmation this morning. God said, I should tell somebody. It's a phrase. He said, be unlimited. Why don't you say to yourself, mention your name. If you are John, say John. Be unlimited. If you are Jane, say Jane. God says, I must not be limited. You must not be limited. Don't let any situation pull you down. And never, you know, thought of coming rising again. Don't be unlimited. Don't let anything say to you, you can no more move ahead. You can no more achieve your goal. Don't let anything say to you, you cannot achieve that good goals of the Lord for you. Hallelujah. Whatever God says, you know that God says it's good for your life. Don't say to yourself, I don't think I have power to achieve this thing. Be unlimited. Don't let anything distract you. Don't let anything militate evil. Minister evil against the good things of the Lord for your life. It is whatever you think within you that you want to do that you will ever cry me and carry it out. But the moment you have you are you know you are disappointed within yourself. And you don't ever think of what to do again to make things better. You will remain the same person. It's you that can still think about what you need to do to achieve that good goal of your life. To make things better for your life. To make things better for you. For everyone around you. In whatever categories of life, you can still make things better. Be unlimited. Don't let anything push stop to your moving ahead, moving on. Hallelujah. Why don't you look for your Bible this morning? Because we are going to open the Bible together. Because God wants to speak to you by his word, through his word. The word that God says he, he, he lifted up, he elevated, he honors, mother his name. His word wants to use to fight your battle this morning. Hallelujah. Why don't you open your Bible with me to Psalm 120, 120. Let's quickly see what that passage is saying to us, to somebody who will, who, will, who will hear the word of God this morning and let that word, you know, be used for his life. Hear what it says. In my distress, I cry unto the Lord, and he heard me. <laughs> God knows that such a situation, you know, cannot but happen, cannot but come against man, against woman, against that young man, that young sister. Don't let depression, depression take you away. From 
been unlimited. He says, in my distress, I cried out to the Lord and he heard me. Because God wants you to cry unto him. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from deceitful tongue. Deliver me, Lord, from destroyers. Those that pretend to be friends unto me, but they are enemies. They speak sweet with their lips, but in their heart it, it is full of bitterness. If you don't acknowledge that, you might say, fall into their hand. Hear what Vatuli says. What shall be given unto thee, or what shall be done unto thee, thou first tongue? Because there are so many people who live under that same situation of life. Their tongue is, is always speaking evil, you know. Excuse me. It's always speaking evil against one another. Sharp arrows of the mighty with coal of juniper. They have arrows in their hands. They have weapons of distortion in their hands, in their lives, in their lives. Though you think they are friend by face, but what is growing in their mind is full of trouble. Woe is me that I sojourn in Mesek, that I dwell in the tent of Kedar. If you don't know the kind of um, friends you should keep, where you're supposed to go and where you should not go, at times you might go and walk in the midst of enemies. He says, my soul how long dwell with him that hated peace. We are talking about do not be limited by situations around you. Don't let faces deceive you because somebody is a rich man and you know he's going, he's, he, he will destroy your life. He said, if I, don't, if I leave him now, I won't get money from me anymore. It is because of what you depend on in his hand that, is, that will make him to get you, to kill you, to destroy you. But instead of us saying, I am for peace. But when I speak, they are for war, of course. That is why the Bible says, you know, you cannot have two masters. You cannot add, you know, put new wine in an old, you know, keg. That's why the Bible says, whoever is in Christ, a new creature, you cannot, you cannot say you are of God and you are still doing some evil, working with evil people, thinking evil. Anytime you speak of peace, they will be talking of war, destruction, pull down, kill. But God is saying to you this morning, with whatever anybody is doing against your life, that is not working well. They have pulled you down. They have battered your life. They have wounded you. God is saying this morning, be unlimited. It doesn't matter what they have done. You know, package your life. Gather yourself together again. And how can you do that? Let us go to the book of that same Psalm. Psalm 125. If you want to do that, there are some things that need to come to your mind. Here, this is one of it. They that trust in the Lord shall be as mosaic, which cannot be removed, but abide, I abided forever. For you to be unmovable, for you to be unlimited. You must make sure you trust in the Lord and you walk in Him. That is when you will not be moved. As the mountain around about Jerusalem, 
So the Lord is right about his people. From henceforth, ever forever. It is those people that, 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 that have made God their, their, their mountain. Those who trust in the Lord. That can enjoy what we are saying this morning. They are the only one that God will surround with his own mountain. Lost people who always want to find, you know, be far away from the Lord. For the Lord of the wicked shall not rest upon, upon thee, Lord of righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands on iniquity. Whenever you are of the Lord, you are around the mountains of the Lord. The eye of the Lord will be upon you. And the Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Whatever the righteous is doing, the rod of the wicked will never stay long on them. Rest means we never stay long. It can only touch you. But never rested on you. Will not be on you as a yoke. <laughs> because you are in the Lord. The only thing that you can do for you not to be unlimited or to be limited rather is that you walk in the truth of the Lord. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their heart. As for such are turned aside unto their crooked way, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Israel. Israel are the one Peace shall be upon Stephen that is talking. If only I will walk in the trusting of the Lord God. Like I do tell people, you cannot eat your cake and say, have it. You cannot lose your kingdom to Satan, to the things of the Lord, I mean, things of the world, and still expect that goodness that you are expecting. From the Lord. Be unlimited. Don't let what you believe in limit you. Don't let what you are what, what you do day by day, what is coming, what is hailing out of your heart, limit you from enjoying what God is having for his people. You cannot be a true child of God and still don't enjoy God. Because the rod of the wicked will never. Be allowed to rest over you. They will try it, but it will never come near you. Even if it, if it, if it is near you, because you are a child of God, He knows what to do to terminate the rod of the wicked. What does He say further? In the book of Psalm 91. Because this man of God knows what he's saying about God. And I believe to so many of us, until we give a substance to God, which is part of our life, until then, we might not know how to really enjoy God. You will allow your thinking, your mind, to put limitation on you, what you do. But hear what it says. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The only set of people that cannot be limited are those who dwell, who abide themselves, who gather themselves under the dwelling place of the Lord, around the things of the Lord. Around, no, no, it's not saying un, unless you start to live in church. Or you dwell in a, in a prayer ground forever. If you are, if you are within the scope of a church or, 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 or you know, a temple or synagogue, a, 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 you know, a, a, a crusade ground, if your mind is not of the Lord, you are still not dwelling 
In the secret place of the Lord. Secret place of the Lord is where you understand God, where God reigns, where he lives. Because nobody sees him face to face. But you can see the Lord when you walk within you know, the scope of the spirit. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust until you become someone that wants to say to every situation around you that I have a God. I have a God that watches over me. I'm living under his refuge. Nothing can batter me. Nothing can destroy me. Until you come up with that in your mind. It doesn't matter what you are going through today. God wants you to, to, to have that changes in your heart, in your mind. What is it that you are saying? Are you discouraging minute by minute? Oh, when is God going to do this thing? I don't think I can do it again. I've been praying, 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 praying. It's not about how long you've been praying to God. It's about trusting that God... Limitation do come from what you think at times and what you do, and how you do it, and where you do, where you do, you know, you practice that thing. You cannot go to the altar of bar and still expect God to manifest whatever you need from Him. You can make your heart, you know, a, 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 a temple of bar by your thinking, if Christ is not taken. He says, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of violence and from the noisome pestilence. That God that we are talking about will deliver you whatever you are going through, which is the snare of the wicked, from the net of the wicked ones, from the troubles of man against your life. Maybe because you have not trusted God enough. That is why you don't see yourself coming out. And I do tell people, you cannot pray to God and never expect back from God. God is not a man. Because he wouldn't want to feel God is not answering your prayer. But what is it that God is saying back to you? As he said to you, I'm going to do it. And you want it to be done today, today, today. And if God says, I will do it. Why don't you hold him by his word? That your today might not be his today. Your tomorrow might not be his tomorrow. <laughs> Hear what he says further. He shall cover thee with his feather. And under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Everything of God must be of you. You must know that you are under his shadow. That he covers you anywhere you go. When you pray, he answers you. He hears you. Hallelujah. Hear what he says for that. He says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Hear what it says again. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Why don't you be on the Lord's side? You know, for you to enjoy God, you must, you must, you must stay long with God, though. Make sure you stay long with God. Don't just think God is just, is just somebody just, oh, you will just knock at his door. And he will just open the door for you. He wants to see the kind of person that is knocking. Hallelujah. We saw those stories in the Bible. A woman that was knocking, calling unto that judge. Open your door, open your door. You see how long it took the judge to open the door. But the judge still opened the door at, the, at, 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 at last. Because that woman had been knocking for long. 
And you have not, how, how long have you been knocking the door of the Lord? And you are tired. You want to go to a place where they tell you what you want today. Oh, you need money today. Okay, you get the money tomorrow. But you will lose so many things that are valuable to you. You will lose your child. You lose your wife. You lose your husband. You leave your, your fortune. Because you want to become rich. There are so many people who are, you know, who are in, in the positions today as a result of that evil covenant. The evil covenant get them there. That is why many leaders, you know, in some of, of the countries of the world, they cannot take good because they have sold their soul to the evil, to Satan. So even if, if they, they want to do good, they remember the, the, you know, the covenant, the, 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 the vow they have made, the oath they have made with Satan. But don't let that limit you today. Be unlimited by coming to the side of the Lord. He's the only one that can guide you, that can save you, that can lead you right. Hear what he said further. He said, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There is no one under the sunlight who may God his trust. Who made God his habitation? Where to run to in the day of trouble? That will never delivered. Be unlimited. Don't be deceived. Don't, don't let your thinking say to you, who can help me? Will God help me now? With all that I have done. Just come back home to God. Is a forgiving father who will forgive you whatever error you have made. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 40, 41. Let's see what verse 13 and 16 says. We are talking about limitation this morning. Don't be limited. Be unlimited from verse 13. For I, the Lord, the God, will hold thy right hand, say unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. God is saying to you that where you are lying, where you have been despised, where some people they have been casted out, you know, out of enjoyment of life, God says, I am the Lord who created you. I will hold you by thy right hand. He hear what we say again. Say unto thee, fear not, I will help you. If God says he will help you, then why is, where is the fear coming? If God says he will help you, he is the highest helper, the most honorable helper, the king of all kings is your helper. Hallelujah. Don't do what God will not like you to do if you want him to be your helper. Don't doubt him when you want him to be your helper. When you want to bring you out of that your trouble, don't doubt him. Don't think of comparing him with another person, another power. He's more than that. Hallelujah. He is more than that. Fear not, he says again in 14, fear not, thou warm Jacob. And ye men of Israel, wherever you are hearing me, turn that to your household. You can even put your name there. John, God is speaking to you. Mary, God is speaking to you. Cameron, God is speaking to you. David, it is your day. Hallelujah. That God says, fear not. I will help thee again. Says the Lord, and the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, says, He will help you. For God to repeat Himself again, He meant what He's saying. Comfort, God says, He will help you. Mary, God says, He's going to help you. 
for him to have repeated it again. Why don't you go and read that place and say to yourself, God says you will help me. Then don't let any troubles around you limit you to where you are. Guide yourself again. Guide yourself. Even when they put uh, Peter into the prison, the angel came to him. Don't let the situation you are limit you. He said, put up yourself. Guard yourself. Put on your sandal. Put up your robe. The same is coming to you today. Whatever is not working well in your life, God says, if we trust, I mean, trust in him, he will help you. Why don't you go to God and pray to him and say, God, I have come. Help me according to your word. The only one of Israel. That's the name of our God. You hear what he said again? He said, behold, look. When he said, behold, he said, see, look. I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument. Have it it. Thou shalt thresh the mountain and beat them small and shall make the hill a shaft. Look at the way, look at the way God is is, is, is bringing strength to somebody. He's calling somebody. God said he wants to make you powerful this morning. Hello, good morning, caller. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you too, sir. A amen, sir. Can you pray for me for every power of limitation to get out of my life? Oh, my God. You heard what God is saying to us this morning? Yes, sir. Yeah, because you have taken that bold step to call unto him. I believe God is going to deliver you now. Amen. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Why don't you step forth to your hands toward that screen of yours? Okay, I'll do that now. Lord Jesus, I bless you this morning because your son trusted in you. Amen. You have spoken your word. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I can see yes, God this morning. You know, that trouble, that problem of yours now. Amen. Lord, I thank you because your word is here and amen. The amen. desire of your son for good, let him have it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, God, my dismantle every power that has initiated whatever force against your son and dismantle them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, take your, your son by his right hand again. And take, Amen. be a helper unto him, and take him, Amen. Lord, to his victory. Amen. And so shall he be. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You know Amen. the Lord has, um, he has done it for you. Why yes, don't you sir. go and read Psalm 43? Read that Psalm for nine times today. Okay, sir. Psalm 43. Whatever okay. God gives to you in your dream, because I, I, God is, is dismantling some things in your life. Amen. The word of men against your life, the Lord wants to, you know, counter it. Mm. So whatever you Amen. say you're doing, if you don't understand it, you can call my mobile anytime. Yes, sir. I will tell you what God is saying by His grace. Yes, sir. God bless you, sir. Amen, sir. Today's, Bye -bye, sir. today's your day of joy. Amen, sir. You know, God said to somebody, said, I will make you an instrument of a waste to a mountain. No wonder he said to that man of God, who had that mountain before Serubabel, I will waste you. God is saying, what is that problem ahead of you? He will waste it. Hello, good morning, caller. Hello, good morning, sir. Hello, good morning, man. Good morning, sir. God bless you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, what is it you want God to do for you this morning? I want God to give me, bless me spiritual blessings and physical blessings. Spiritual blessings. Lord Jesus, I thank you this morning. Amen. Now, this is one of the requests you expect from your people, from your man and your woman created in your image, your children, Father. Mm -hmm. Lord, your daughter wants to bless her spiritually. Mm -hmm. Receive that this morning in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Solomon said, why don't you give me wisdom, Lord, to lead your people? Mm -hmm. And you added every other thing needed unto him. According to what your daughter requested this morning, by the power in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. 
I added the physical blessing to your life Amen. and the spiritual in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Begin to Amen. do what you could not do before Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. because you requested this this morning. Receive it by power of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go and take over and Amen. rule over and Amen. manifest. Amen. Every children that God has given unto you shall Amen. take the part of the Lord. Amen. And so shall Amen. it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Woman, why don't you go and read Psalm 51 to top it up? <laughs> you know, read that Psalm for about 14 times. Okay. You know, whatever you see, that is what God wants to do for you. Okay. God bless you. But God is saying okay. He wants to meet with you. He wants to, you want to defend your family. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Thank you, sir. You know, he said to you that I want to empower you to become tall, terror, <laughs> unto the enemies within and without around you. Whatever they have done against you, God said he's, he's giving you an assurance that he will give you power to waste them. Hear what he says. He will, when, when after you have granted that motto to ordinary powder, hear what he says, verse 16, thou shalt find them and the wild wind shall carry them away. And the wild wind shall scatter them. Hallelujah. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. And shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. If only you can come up with this mind this morning. That though I have felt today I'm falling. That God is bringing me up again. To be on my toll again, to be on that race again, he says he will help you to waste all the works of the enemies around you. He will, you know, it's, it's like when you when you when you when you put a, 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 a fan beside, you know, a powder. You know how the yeah. fan, the, the way we just waste it. Hello, good morning, caller. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good, yeah, good morning, Pastor. Louder, please. Yeah. A bit louder. I can't hear your voice very well. Okay. Okay, I can yeah, hear you yeah, now. Yeah. Good morning to you. I can hear you now. What do you want God to do for you this morning, quickly? I want to open doors and a favor. Door and favor unto you. Mm -hmm. Door favor unto you. Amen. And do you believe that God can favor you? Exactly. You believe? Yes. Okay. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Yes. Because your daughter believed that you can help him. I mean, help her. Yes. That Amen. you can favor her. Amen. Daddy, I agree with that this morning. That whatever is in the hand of your daughter, that will not let this prayer be heard. That you use your blood of Calvary, Lord, Amen. to wash them away in the name of Jesus. And Amen. thereafter, you enter into the favor of the Lord. Amen. May you be favored by the mercy of the Lord this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May God open your eyes to see and to Amen. know him better. And the Amen. grace of God shall be sufficient for your life. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, as I was able to pray for you, the Lord said, Tell her to go and read Psalm, you know, 46. Go and read that Psalm for about 21 times today. Just sit down. Don't let anything disturb you. Are you with me? The Lord wants to start by healing you, by doing some wonderful things in your spirit. Then you know that mm -hmm. there is God in this way concerning your life. Mm -hmm. Go and read that Psalm, Psalm 46, for 21 times today. And let God be God. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. He said, who are thou mountain before Serubabel? Who are you problem before, you know, uh, 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 miss whatever you want to call yourself? President, what you want to call yourself? It's because many of us in the leadership role, we are far away from the Lord. We don't commune with God anymore. We don't put things before the Lord anymore. Rather, you believe in the power of the world. That is why things are no more working. In the country where you become, you are the prime minister, you are pastor, you are a senator, whatever position you are. Most pastors in mind is because you don't believe in God anymore. 
You believe in doing things in your own way. That is why there's no more help for you. The help you require today, they will, they, they will just give you one sign. They give you one blessing. And they take 10 out of your life. They ruin your thinking, your mind. When, you, when a mind is ruined, everything around him or her will be collapsed. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. I want God to change my life. Okay. And, um, and change my bad character. Oh, good girl. Clap for yourself. Oh, yes, Lord, I thank you. In the I, wa in the I want God to use me. Uh -huh. Thank God for your life. Lord I Jesus, I thank you for what you have put into the heart of your daughter this morning. Because I am glad to hear her voice this morning. I know, God, you are glad in heaven to hear from her. Lord, give unto her her desire this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. That which you want God to do for you, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will excel in good character in the name of Jesus in group gesture, in the name of Jesus, in your career in life, God will add more to you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will Amen. use you. So shall it be. You shall meet life. Amen. And the name of the Lord shall be glorified. You will not die young. In Amen. the name of Jesus. So Amen. shall it be. In the family where you are talking, the Lord will raise you as a banner for his kingdom. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Congratulations that it is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let me give you what to do too. Go and read Psalm 23 together, you know, today. Read that psalm for nine times. Psalm 23, read that psalm for, you know, nine times. I believe you know how to read. Yes. Uh -huh. Don't let mommy disturb you while I read it. Tell mommy I want to read now. Mommy, don't call me. Don't send me an error now. I want to read the word of God now. Okay, until you finish it. God bless you, darling. God bless you. Bless you, darling. Love you in Jesus' Love name. You. Hallelujah. That word is for somebody this morning. That God is saying whatever enemy is doing against you. Why don't you come to the Lord and trust God? Hallelujah. It's because you are far away, from, like I was saying, far away from the Lord. When you sell your mind, you are thinking to evil. Good things will never come out of you. It's because you have sold your, your mind to evil. That is why you steal money that belongs to every other person. That is why you think of marrying, you know, going out with another person's wife or husband. It's because you have sold your mind to evil. God will never hold no such hands. Such hands will never prevail against evil. You married, you know, you, you, you forgot the day you get married. That you gave that oath unto one another. And you began to do air in that family, in that marriage. You can't be bothered either peace rain or it's not raining. You cannot be held by God's hand. Everything will not work when mind is polluted. Things will never come rightly. That is why you never care. Yes, if you have, if you, if you have, if you have gone to, to share blood for sacrifice, for you to get to a position, when you get there, you never help anybody. It, is, it will be the same, you know, the same type of people that, that, will, that will gain from you. That we, we have in so many countries of the world. When you are not their group, they will not help you. But when you carry the mind of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, you will be for everybody. Like Jesus Christ was for all. Don't let anything limit you from doing the will of God. Hear what the Bible says again in the book of John, chapter 17. I mean, sorry, chapter 15. John, chapter 15. And let's see what the Lord is saying to somebody there. If too late you want to be unlimited, there are some things you need to take on board, you need to do, so that God himself will be glorified, he will be proud of you. Hear what Jesus Christ says. And I want to put yourself in that same position today, 
of the Lord Jesus. Hello, good morning, Kola. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. I say it again, God bless you. Yes, I want you to pray I with say, the hear first. Me, hear me first. I want to say it again to you, God bless you. God bless you. It is well with your soul. Yes. Yes, what do you want God to do for you now? To pray for a husband. Your husband. Pray for a husband. You want to pray for a husband? Yes. Okay. You want to get married? Yes. Okay. And you believe God can do that for you? Definitely. My yes. God, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, because you are unsearchable, nothing is difficult for you to do. Amen. You are a God of the universe. Amen. You are immortal and invisible. Your words say, call unto me the day of trouble. He says, I will answer you. He said, tell them that they cannot be limited if they Amen. trust in your word. Because your daughter trusted in you this morning. Receive that man of the heart of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That husband of yours that will give room for God in your family. Receive him now as a gift in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Amen. I want your daughter to know that, yes, you are the king of all kings. Between now and November this year, 2017, I, Larry Lot, want to hear good news concerning her. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. That man will look for you, he will get you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name Amen. I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, go and read Psalm 21, my dear sister. Psalm 21. Psalm 21. Psalm 21. 21. Yes. Try okay. to read that psalm for, a, for about 12 times. Okay. Oh my God. You will see what God will do for you. Okay. That man will be like a, like a, like a carmen, you know, that was tired, that was loose yes. for that service of the Lord. Yes. Says the Almighty God. Praise He's coming God. to do a good job in your life. And then you shall praise God forever. Amen. God bless you. Bless you. Psalm 121. No, no, Psalm 21. 21. Oh, 221. Yes, 21. There 221? No, 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 I said Psalm 21. Psalms 21. Yep. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, I cannot entertain another call again because of our time. If you are there... You know, and uh, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. He's the only one that can reshape your life. He's the only one that can wipe away your tears. He's the only one that can encourage you. He's the only one that can even forgive you of your sin that is not allowing you to march on, to move on, to achieve your goal, to do that good things. He's the only one that can teach you what God in heaven wanted for your life to be better. Why don't you come to that Jesus today and say, Lord, I submit myself unto you again. I want to live under your shield, under your feather, under your coverage, and let him be your God. To everyone who wants to call in this morning, and you have no chance, I pray for you this morning that the gift of life will be given unto you, you shall be blessed. Receive your heart desire for good and let God be God in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Till we meet the same time next week, if Jesus tarries, I am your humble servant, Prophet Lando Wajolotu. It is well with your soul. And God bless you. Don't forget, be unlimited. Thank you. Angels with rapture on our seats, shepherds with wonder receive it. Say now of what you believe it, wonderful story of love, wonderful story of love, wonderful story of love. <laughs> Can you help me?
He, he gets very angry and sometimes he hits me. She kicks me in the stomach. It's like nobody cares.